today we're gonna check out the Lesco lineup of spreaders and sprayers. Hey, what's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Albertson here with B&B Lawn Care. I'm here at my local Site One with Rod. What's going on? Hey, getting ready to talk about some machines. Heck yeah. So we're gonna go over some different types of spreaders. Some of you guys had questions about what the different options are here at Site One that Lesco makes. So today we're gonna go, we're kind of in order here. We're missing two machines. We're missing the Model 200 and the Model 600, which is like the big Mac Daddy. It's actually here on the, uh, here on this. Um, I drove one at GIE, it's like, whew, thing is monster. So let's go over just briefly here some of these different models and some of the pros about uh, them. The Chariot has been around a long time. It started as a surfer. This has been a go-to for years, a staple for guys that are just doing granular ap applications. Um, it's hinged in the middle, easy to operate, 125 pound capacity. It used to be calibrated to only application rate, which is a little governor. And now you have the option of running either three mile an hour or five mile an hour, depending on the situation. So your settings are calibrated for you. And it's a standard Lesco hopper, just like our 80 pound spreaders, 50 pound spreaders. Gotcha. So. And just to, just like a, a rough number, these are around like six, six grand? This one's around 6,500. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Step and, up from there. Um, this machine is one of our new in our lineup of four. Um, it adds a 200 pound hopper. Okay. Um, it is more on the lines of it's hinged in the middle also, but taking it a step farther, it's also hinged. So it actually follows the ground real well. Okay. So that just helps if there's like little yeah, divots in the ground. It's going to dig you out of it instead of just... Okay. Um, another nice thing about this one, um, this is the Model 100, 200 pound capacity, five mile an hour. It also has reverse, neutral and reverse, so you can back the machine up easily. But it, again, it will be calibrated like this at five mile an hour on your application. Okay. okay. Now, the one that we are missing is a Model 200, and it is this machine, but adds a 16 gallon spray tank. Again, calibrated, second gear, five mile an hour, um, very similar machines, other than you have a little more capability. So you would go from like a push spreader, maybe somebody just getting started, yep. to something like the Chariot. Like a Chariot. Okay, and so as you work down the line, let's say, hey, maybe I wanna start spraying as well, then you would go for something like the 200. The model 200. And that, that's like right around? Um, it's about 9,800. Okay. So, so you kind of, as you can see, you can kind of just get more features the more you spend, right? Like, like anything. Right. And the more your business grows, the yep. more each machine becomes ac applicable at that time for you. Yep. So when, when guys are coming in, just getting started, what, what's kind of your suggestions on how they pick out the right machine? Um, we ask questions about square footage, um, are they new in the business, do they do all types of applications, are they spraying and spreading, you know, and then we can narrow it down to which one's going to suit their needs, because I have some guys that only spray, I have some guys that only need a spreader, okay. if they're tired of walking, yep. that's where these come into play, if they're a small guy getting started, 16 gallon capacity a lot of time will be what they need. And yep. then as they grow, then we get into the bigger, the Model 300. Gotcha. So this is my unit. This is the Model 300. Literally, just like anybody, I, I was at GIE last year. Now this year it's going to be a Quip. Um, and I went through the Site 1 booth and I drove each of these units and I said, hey, I don't think that, you know, one of these machines is exactly what I'm looking for we're I, and we talked about this before this is like like using a stand on zero turn you know like a mower um, just with the controls this is like I said a zero turn spreader sprayer so this is what I ended up going with because we we really want to grow this side of the business and I just felt hey go big or go home I didn't go way big the model 600 they're like I'm like, I think I should get that. They're like, you don't need that for, for you know, we, we have like 10,000, like our average is probably 10 to 12,000 square foot lawns. So I didn't need the 600, but we went with the 300. 
Um, just like I said, it's, it's all in one unit. It's super productive. It's like a stand-on mower that we've always used. So I just thought it would be a, there's already so much to learn about this, this fertilizing business. I didn't want to have to, you know, relearn a, um, how to use a machine. So let's go over the 300 a little bit for, for guys that, you know, maybe haven't seen any of my videos on it. Um, also has a 200 pound spiker popper, just like model 100 and 200. Okay. Um, has a spray boom system, 24 gallon capacity, then has a two, four, or six, and eight foot, depending on what you want to spray. If you're along a driveway, you may want to shut off your wing. Yep. Um, if you full blown wide open, you're gonna want this out. That's gonna maximize um, your spray pattern. Um, they recommend um, running right around 20 PSI, and that is adjusted with this simple throttle valve. Um, it also has spray wand. Um, you jump off, you need to get along the side of a building. This is about $2,500 more than the 200, and you're just, like, I, like we've seen in this progression, you're just gonna get some more features. You're gonna get that zero turn capability and a little bit more control over your fertilizer right. on this unit. And one of the, another um, nice feature is the side deflector operated by a cable. And you have the ability to pattern control. Um, you obviously wanna be calibrated like this, but you have the ability to go either way with your, with your spread pattern adjustment. And then when you find that center point, um, a lot of guys will just mark it and they know exactly where to pull up. Gotcha. And that's gonna be either straight on. Okay. Now, you actually, we both had the opportunity to use the 600. Correct. You used it out here. Tell me about your experience with that beast. Uh, that machine, um, I call it the Stealth. And it absolutely is state-of-the-art as far as comfortability um, the day that I did the demo um, they asked me to drive down the side of the bank and when I got to the big hole actually drop down in it and then turn and go up the bank if I'd have been on other machines <laughs> I feel like I probably would have done a wheelie the front end just curls as you're turning so Dang. it has a hinge front end for stability Wow the capacities are unbelievable um, against other machines during a test in a day period they cover 200,000 more square feet with the Wesco machine than some of the other brands. Wow. So that thing's crazy. It is. Um so that would be like municipalities, big commercial, big, big industrial, big wide open properties. So not are, like not like not, our not little like, residential not property. Like, like doing a 10,000 yeah. square foot yard. It so those be, are. There would be those guys that are doing millions of square feet. Um, it's a little pricey out the gate, but if you think about the square footage and the labor savings, yep. just because of your capacities, it makes it well worth it for those big guys. Well, like I, I, I immediately think of like a college, like like a big huge area. Correct. Instead of having you know two or three people on two or three different smaller machines, yeah. just having one machine and one operator, right. you know, I think it would end up saving them a lot of money. It would, you yes, know, just absolutely. labor. Absolutely. So, to go through recap here real quick, um, I also wanted to add. I, I was over here looking at this uh, poster. So, through September third, the 60th anniversary Lesco sweepstakes. So, buy five hundred dollars in product on one invoice. You get an entry, but look at these prizes. So they're giving away, the grand prize is the Model 600. That's that's what we're talking about, that beast. They're giving away three of these Pro Air 30, three Model 100s, 60 push spreaders, and 60 backpack spreaders. So that Pro Air 30 is that guy right there, and I have one of those as well. So like, if you're out there buying fertilizer, do they have to do anything extra for it, or is it just automatically entered? Um, one entry per day is the okay. um, requirement. They can scan to learn more. So, um, like, if you're if you're buying product, just to have the opportunity to win one of those, you know, that's over 
like a hundred entry or a hundred prizes that you could win. Absolutely. So like if you're buying product, you might as well, you know, do it before September third. Um, so real quick to recap, I want to just go over like the type of um, company or person that would buy each of these. So maybe like one of these smaller spreaders, if you only have a couple of properties, if, if, you know, maybe a few hundred bucks, I don't know how much they are, a thousand bucks or whatever, you, you, you could at least get out there and start fertilizing. Correct. Um, we have a 50 pound option and an 80 pound. Um, the 50 pound is a carbon steel spreader. Um, homeowner situation, small contractor, somebody that's taking care of their own lawn care. Gotcha. Um, the lawn guys that are out doing multiple applications typically will go with the 80. It's stainless steel, bigger tires, pushes a lot easier. Gotcha. Um, has a side deflector like the rest of these machines so they can, you know, they're not getting it in plant beds or, you know, having to get it off the driveways as much as most people um, gotcha. that don't have those. So um, that's the option there. And then... And how many properties do you think, like, realistically, like, would it be if you had 10 or 20 fertilizing customers? Yeah, small to where, okay. you know. And then, again, we start calculating square feet. So okay. when we know that they're get, they've gone from buying 10 bags, they're up to a pallet, pallet and a half, then we say, well, have you thought about doing this? Gotcha. You know, this is what it's going to save you in time. And, you know, if you have multiple guys out on, you know, push spreaders, then maybe this is a good option if you want to continue to grow. Gotcha. And then, like I said, if they continue to grow after that, then this would be their next step up because of capacity. Okay. 25, 200. We can add the spray if they want to do that. The guys that are already doing both applications, this is a great one. Um, and then the stealth that we talk about. Yeah. Um, it has 80 gallon capacity and a 250 pound hopper. So that's Dang. why yeah. you can and maximize it's... your time. Yeah. Because of those capacities are larger than any I've seen on the street. So Gotcha. Um, would you agree with me? I, I've always told people like maybe think about where you're you want your business to go. And so like if you're on if you're like, I think I want this machine, but you're like maybe, you know, next year or in two years I want to start spraying as well. Maybe if you can kick it up a little bit to this unit you know that way you can grow into it in a way and we all and i always try to ask questions you know if somebody's interested in machines you know you you have to know what they're doing yeah are you spreading spraying what's your square footage what's all that well i think i'm going to start spraying next year well how hard are you thinking about it are you yeah. going to be better off if we put the tank on here now right for a few extra dollars yep so that you have that and you know it's it's and we try to base it on every case situation and have something for every situation that yep. is needed. Cool. I appreciate it. Hey, Come Matt. check out Rod at, at Site One here. We're in Pleasant Valley, just like right down the street from me. This is where I come get seed, fertilizer. Check them out. That is the lineup of Lesco spreaders, sprayers. Check them out. Again, guys, if you are buying products from Lesco, dude, this sweepstakes is sweet. Um, I can't imagine. I can't imagine winning that $30,000 piece of equipment. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope that answered some questions. Because um, I know it's just, it's intimidating, man. Like, it is. It's, it's intimidating business. There's so much to learn. Um, especially if you're going, like me, from just mowing. It was a scary thing. And, and so, that's why I'm making these videos to hopefully help somebody that's just trying to learn like we all should be and uh, that's it again i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one peace